Another Filipina here in Egypt got rescued from an abusive relationship. She is now in the care of one of our rescue team. I will be hiding her face and her name for her own protection and privacy. Let us hear her out. Magandang araw po. Ako po si uh, nakatira po sa Pilipinas at dito po kami sa Quiz na Egypt. Manufia, dito po. Narito po ako sa inyong harapan na humihingi po ng tulong para po makakalis kami sa poder ng asawa ko. Hindi ko na po kaya at natatakot po ako sa safety na magiging kasi po itong Huling away na may pinapalayas niya po ako. Wala naman po ako dito. Kakakilala ko ka mag-anak. Pinapalayas niya po ako. Pinapalayas niya ako sa bahay na pati ko daw po. Kahit kailan mo ako kuha yung anak ko. May dalawa po akong anak. Isang 13 years old at isang 5 years old. Parehas po babae. Hindi <laughs> ko na po alam ang gagawin ko. Wala po akong makahingan ng tulong. Tulungan niyo po ako makalas sa padala. Hindi ko na po kayo. Araw-araw na lang. May pagtatalo. Araw-araw na lang. Nag-aaway. Minsan naman itong sinasakta niya ako. Minsan dahat puro masasakit na salita na hindi ko na. Hindi ko na po kayo masikmura. Ilang beses ko nang hiniling sa kanya na kung kung hindi niya rin po lang kaya makisama ng maayos sa akin, malayain na lang niya po. Hinihingi ko po yung mga barang, hindi niya daw po ibibigay na siya lang daw po ang may karapatan at dahil siya kay Arab at ako eh, hindi. Tulungan niya po kami. Huwag na huwag niya po kami makakayaan na magtagal pa po dito kasi po hindi ko po alam kung ano pong pwede niyang gawin. Malayo rin po kami sa mga kabayan dito sa, sa Egypt kasi po malayo, medyo malayo po yung kaya. Wala po talaga akong pinala kahit isa. Wala akong matatakbuhan. Kaya parang awan niyo na po. Tulungan niyo po kami mag -iina. Wala po alam yung pamilya ko sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Hindi ko po pinapaalam yung sitwasyon ko dito kasi po ayaw ko po mag-alala yung nanay ko. <laughs> 72 years old na po yung nanay ko may edad na. Ipaalam ko man po sa kanila. Wala rin naman po sila magagawa dahil po mag-isa lang po ako dito. <laughs> Kaya parang awa yun na po. Tulungan na po kayo mag -ina. Ayaw ko na po intayin na magkasakitan pa. At wala na po ako magawa ng kapang ako makuha yung mga anak ko. Pinapalayas niya po ako, ako lang. Kumalis daw po ako. Wala akong moko at hindi niya ako bibigyan kahit isang pound. Bahala daw po ako sa buhay ko. Kung gusto ko daw po, may daw po ako ng tulong sa pamilya. Pero never niya daw po ako tutulungan. At ang mga bata po, hindi hindi niya po ibibigyan. At sasabihin pa po daw niya. Ang mga anak ko, may hindi mo sa lahat. At patay na daw ako. Parang awan niya po. Domestic violence is not only physical, it can be emotional, verbal, economic. And the people who are really affected in a domestic violence environment are the children because they're growing up without learning about positive and respectful relationship. And these children does not feel safe and secure in their own home because they are scared of what might happen to them or to the people they love. Okay, I am going to name 
our kababayan any for the meantime. And I am knocking to everyone's heart that if you have any donations or anything for her, we will be very grateful. Because right now, she doesn't have anything when she left. She only has her two girls. So, and there's a lot of things to do for her, like fixing her papers and also your help will be very, very appreciated. I have here with me my husband. I'm going to be asking him some stuff uh, about women's rights after divorce. Okay. Uh, about the children. How's the children after divorce? Will it be uh, in the dad's side or the mom's side? Uh, of course, so it's the mom's side. It's always with the, with the mom. The mom has the right to have the babies. Uh, foreigners or Egyptians, they have the right to, to keep the kids. Some cases, uh, it's not happening. Uh, if the, uh, the wife is uh, another religion, Christian or something, this is the only time uh, the kids uh, will belong to the dad. Because is he will be belong to the, his, his religion. Ah, so if like we have, say for example, like we have different religion and, and we got divorced, mm. like the kids are going to go to you? Yeah, not because they, right. they are under my religion, Muslims, ah. and, and under my name in this case. But if you are a Muslim, uh, foreigner or Egyptian, you're still going to keep them. Up to how old? I think uh, 18 years old, but I'm not sure. 18 years old. What if the mom, after divorce, like you got divorced already and everything, and the mom uh, will going to get married marry again? You're still going to keep the kids. Still the kids with him? Yeah. Until 18. Mm. And when the, the children reach 18, they're going to choose uh, where to go, whether to his mom or to his dad, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, how about the home after divorce? How it's going to be? Uh, about the home, uh, the husband should pay for uh, rent, decent rent, uh, decent apartment, the food, uh, electricity, the gas, like the bills of the house, and uh, like he has to pay monthly for their living, for their like food, stuff like this, for the school, mm -hmm. till uh, they uh, reach the age already. Okay. And I, I guess it's 15 years old, not 18. Okay. Uh, and is about for this, this is for the boy and uh, for the girl till she get married. Okay, so it's going to be mandatory, it's going to be uh, mandated by the court that the husband, the ex-husband, must provide their shelter, food and clothing and for the education of the kids, right? Yeah. How about the wife? Is she going to get like allowance also or no? The allowance, it's considered for their living, not just for, it's, there is no specification for she gonna take like that and the boy like that. No, he sh is like the they bought already a mount according mm. to the the husband uh, properties and the stuff like this. And everyone is different. Mm. Like the rich guys, not like uh -uh. The, like depending guys. on their earnings and, and yes. those things. Okay, what else can you say about it? Uh, the things I wanted to say is, divorce is really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the kids is uh, yes lost, get lost, and it's really bad for them. Uh, for even if they live uh, in a good house, um, but the race itself is really difficult for the mom or for the dad. And they affect it yeah. really bad. Yes, and mm. bottom line is abusive relationship is never acceptable because everyone needs to feel loved, valued, course. respected, yeah. and feel safe. That's it. Yeah.
Shukran. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.